Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton and welcome to New York. You're in for a real treat. We are taking you to the largest Italian marketplace outside of Italy in the entire country, Italy. It's amazing. We have the ultimate tour guide for this amazing place called Italy, Lydia Bastianic, and what a treat. Ah, thank you, a pleasure having you here. You know, this is our piazza, and this is sort of the heart, the center of this uh, 50,000 square feet, uh, uh, if you will, environment of Italian food. Yeah. So if you sit here, you can order from any of the corners, and of course, a little fresh mozzarella. Tell us the process a little bit, what he's doing here. Well, mozzarella here is, you know, it's the curd. Curd is kind of a, a, a elastic. In making mozzarella, uh, which is pasta filata, which is cold pasta. Mm -hmm. You go directly from the curd, you work it, and feel this. This is a body temperature. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a body temperature. And actually, you know, I think, I think, uh, have one of these. Wow. Just, just it, bite into it. Doesn't get any pressure than that. Exactly, bite into it. Now. Oh. Oh, man. Is it delicious? Good job. <laughs> Italy is the largest producer of cheeses, the, the different varietals in Europe. Oh, wow. Oh. Have you ever had robiola? I don't know that I have. Robiola is a wonderful, it's from Lombardia in Piemonte, and it comes like this, in a, it's, a, it's, oh. a, it's a soft cheese, and it, is, it has the muffa, which is the mold, uh, mold uh, uh, cured on top. It is made out of sheep's milk and, mm -hmm. and cow's milk mixed together. Oh, okay. And so it's going to have a little richness in there. Mm. 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 So here we have some uh, Castelmagno. Castelmagno is from Piemonte. It's a, kind of a rare cheese. There's because there's it has to be very high altitude, the pastures, and uh, it's rich. Uh, and it's kind of a crumbly, 100% cows, but kind of crumbly. And it is also aged in in a in a kind of a under underground cave situation. This cheese is is. It's so wonderful, and it is also it is. very crumbly. Mmm, they make it's got a great flavor. This makes a great sauce, like make a fondue. Oh. You do a beef with a little bit of this Castelmagno on top, and a pecorino, pecorai sheep. It's 100% mm -hmm. sheep's milk. Let us taste a little bit. Of course. And this is cured in the grotta, which you can see right that it has been uh, cured on the underground in the grotta. And this complexity, there's some molds and uh, the way it cures, and the complexity of the of the aromas of the cave that really adds that Come to Because Pecorino, there's so many different choices, and I, I'm always confused when you see them all, like, well, you know, which one? Yeah. Pecorino, you, you're right, you know? Because Pecorino is sheep's milk, and sheep's milk can be mild, but as it ages, it gets progressively kind of uh, intense and aggressive. Uh, but picorino, you can eat it primo salad, the first salting, which is very light and fresh and whatever. These are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. 